welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is a chilled one. I've got my hoodie on and my PJ bottoms and we're just chilling out in my bedroom tonight. So I thought we would do a Q&A video. Um, I asked you all to post me some questions on Instagram and Facebook, things you wanted to ask me and I would answer them in a Q&A video. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So I have my laptop here um, and I'm gonna go through the questions and answer as many as I can and hopefully yeah i'll get through a few right i'll do the facebook questions first because there wasn't very many on facebook okay lisa cook has said i love wedding chat how are you getting on with your wedding plans so we haven't really done very much with our wedding plans we have booked our venue which is bankery lodge if anybody lives kind of locally and they know that place it is a hotel and um, down by the river and it's beautiful for photographs and it's very budget friendly and it's a beautiful setting and yeah we're really pleased with it. So we booked there, we booked our photographer who is Hayley Fraser. She is a brilliant photographer, she does a lot of um, family photographs I think, she also does wedding photography and she um, went to a few baby classes with my sister so I'd, I'd met her a couple of times and I knew that she was really lovely and I think that's really important when you book a wedding photographer because you want to have like a good rapport with them so um yes yeah, so I knew she'd be really good and so we booked her what else I've got my dress I got my dress from Elmar Bridal in Peterhead it is yeah a really nice dress I can't say too much about it but um, I'm really pleased with it and what else I've, um, I've provisionally booked somebody to do her hair um we have, I haven't really done too much but I'm pretty like chilled out about it to be honest so um, we'll get round to the other things. We've got the main things. We've got our photographer and the venue and a dress and it'll be fine. Okay, so Shona Singer is asking, did you paint your blackboard wall yourself and how did you do it? So yes, I did paint it myself. Well, Andrew and me painted it. Um, and what we did was we bought um, blackboard paint and the one I bought was actually a magnetic one, um, but we don't use it for magnets. Um, so all we did was we got masking tape and we masked out the area that we wanted to paint and we painted it with a paintbrush. You do get a spray one, um, but we thought the paint might be less messy. It was still really messy. It's I'd recommend putting down loads of like dust sheets and things because it does drip loads and obviously it's black. So we just did a few coats of that and we've actually done it again um, since we originally did it because um, it does start to like, um, like the chalks does start to like, not stain, but like leave marks. So we've painted over it a couple of times um, since just to freshen it up again. Okay, we'll do the Instagram questions next because there's quite a few of them. So, let's see. Okay, Mikey is asking who or what gave you the inspiration to start blogging slash vlogging? Um, and he says, you're so natural in front of the camera, which can be hard for some people. This is my brother-in-law. Um, so he doesn't often say nice things like that. So that's very nice. Um, who was my inspiration? Um, I think all the really good mummy bloggers and vloggers out there that um, are inspiring other mums and making them feel like they are normal and um, helping them keep going. All of them that I watched when I was pregnant and when Elle was a newborn um, just inspired me to give it a try and do the same for others. Um, some of my favourite ones uh, like the Mumsy Mum um, part-time working mummy I think it's she's called and um, they're both bloggers some of the vloggers I really like Emily Norris and um, Natasha Bailey who else um, all the channel mum mums are great there's um, Nicola Johnston um, who else I've drawn a blank oh Mrs Meldrum um, I'm sure there's loads of other ones that I can't think of right now Yes, yeah, so all those kind of um, mummy bloggers and vloggers um, that really helped me, kind of inspired me to give it a go myself. Mama Jones has asked, what do you enjoy best about being a mum? I think it would be how proud I feel of the girls. Oh, that's so mushy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think that would be the best bit of it. I'm so, so, so proud of them um, for everything everything they do um, I'm just proud of them for being them and um, yeah it's just a lovely feeling all mums will know what I'm talking about and dads um, but you just feel so proud of them and I think that's the best thing about being a mum. Oh 
so more of me blog and um, my chum Kirsty who is also a mummy blogger um, has said what is what's the best and worst thing about being a stay-at-home mum and if you had the chance would you go back to work um, the best thing about being a stay-at-home mum is I'll come back to that one okay the worst thing about being a stay-at-home mum okay are you ready <laughs> for a lot no um, what's the worst thing about being a stay-at-home mum okay it's quite isolating and lonely at times um, I miss having my own money that I earn myself the independence it can be hard um, days can be long I think oh yeah the hardest thing probably is not having any break from your child I think um, because I'm with Elle 24 7 it can be really hard um, when I went out to work and came home again when Caitlin when I had Caitlin before I had Elle um, I found that I really appreciated our time much better and um, I found that I was probably a nicer mum maybe because um, when I was with her I like I felt guilty for the time I was away from her so when I was with her I was I put more effort into it I would have said but because I'm with Elle all the time and there's no break then I probably don't put in as much effort maybe that sounds horrible which is a shame I do try but um, I think if I had a little bit more time to myself which I'm trying to work on um, I would probably be able to give more of the best of me does that make sense uh, if I had a choice would I go back to work probably if I had um, if I had a job before that paid well enough that I could have just gone back and I could have made the transition quite easily I would have loved to have I would love to work part-time maybe um, three days a week or something like that that would be like my ideal and um, if it paid for me to go to work and I could afford to put Elle to nursery I would love to do that I think it would be good for me and it'd be good for her and um, but unfortunately um, I worked in childcare before I had Elle and it just doesn't pay enough to allow me to go out to work and put Elle to nursery and yeah so it just it just doesn't work out financially so if I had the choice I probably think I probably would work part-time um, yeah so so unique me who makes amazing baby clothes and is also my chap um, have asked do you find it easy to spend enough time with each child on their own and what kind of mummy and me activities do you do with each of your girls so Elle gets loads of time with me on her own because Caitlin's at school all day and um, so I see loads of Elle on her own that isn't an issue and also Caitlin goes to her dad's every second weekend so um, Elle has time with her parents both me and her dad um, every other weekend just one-on-one -on -one with us um, with Caitlin it's a little bit more hard because she's at school and also like I said she's at her dad's so um, yeah so it's really hard and especially like things like um, Caitlin's homework and stuff I don't have as much time to sit and do homework one-on-one -on -one with her as I'd like because I've always got Elle there Andrew doesn't get home from work till about quarter past six usually so it's kind of late by that time to be starting doing homework and things so yeah I don't I'm not able to spend as much time as I would like um, I try and do days out with just me and Caitlin every so often. I would say probably we manage it maybe like once a month, maybe once every other month, which isn't that much, but um, I'd like to be able to do it more. But we do things like go to the cinema, go out for lunch, um, go shopping, just different things that Caitlin would like to do really. And we just do go the two of us. And I think it's very important to get that time, just the two of us. And we both really enjoy it. And I think it's good for Elle to get that time with her dad when I'm out with um, Caitlin. So it works well for everybody. So yeah, I do find it hard, but I do try. Okay, so I've tried to answer as many of your questions as I can. Um, hopefully I answered them okay and you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.